Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name's Kiona, and I mainly do diamond painting content, but today is a shop vlog. Dun, 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 dun. On, honestly, I know I said we were going to move to the whip and chat style, but this week I was not prepared to work. Instead, I wanted to talk about things that came out on Monday. I'm going to start right off the bat with telling you about our current sales going on. So, my pride collection released monday let me just jump right into it my pride collection released monday and i announced a code over on instagram discord twitter and in the community tab here on youtube uh the code is spring 15 for 15 percent off and it's until may for or may 8th it ends may 8th so you have that code it's going to be down in the description below just check it out that's 15 percent off anything in the shop your total order doesn't matter so that's what happened on Monday. I did my pride release, and why is there cat hair on this vinyl now? Don't worry, I lint roll everything. So, I want to talk to you about what came out and what's coming out. We're going to start with what's coming out, the colors that are coming out. They're coming out in a medium style, and they're going to start with the window pane, and then I'm going to move and have other options. I'm basically going to cut one set of each version and oh I can't do that there's not enough I don't have enough to do that I'm gonna start with the window pane there might be a corner label there might be a mystery pack version the um, opal iridescence or the iridescent ones will probably never have a mystery pack version because they're see-through but these darker ones are not see-through so they will have mystery pack version eventually so let's just get going with that so our first color i want to talk about that's coming out is this beautiful green shimmer it's going to come out in a medium size i'm going to start with the window pane style and the floating label style that's what i can make out of one roll maybe i have a couple rolls i know i can at least do two packs out of that so if you look at that look at that shimmer look at that shimmer Right now, I am focused on the specialty hollow or the specialty vinyl and the medium sized packs because I've been told that the large are a little big for people. So I put out a lot for large. It's out there. You want a large size, they're available. Okay. But right now, we're focusing on the specialty vinyls and the medium size. The reason why is I have so many specialty vinyls. But I do have good news for you there will be standard solid vinyls which are cheaper for me therefore cheaper for you coming out this week on friday that is the cricket variety pack which is right here and then a duo pack this is um six of them will be purple six of them will be turquoise i have not decided on the name but i'm thinking about calling it kiona's choice and that is because these are my colors I could tell you the whole history around them, but it's a lot of shade to be throwing, and I've been very shady lately, so we're just going to stick with the positive about it. So this is a beautiful, beautiful dark purple that matches my shop colors. Look at that. And a beautiful turquoise green. Uh, my shop colors are a light, light blue and a dark, dark purple. My stream colors are the same things, but my secondary color is a turquoise. These are my favorite color combinations. My favorite color is green. This is my favorite color combination right here. So I will be releasing one of every style. So you're going to have a mystery pack version. You're going to have a floating label version. You're going to have a corner label and a window pane. One of every style in this color combo. And that will be added to the medium size listing. I'm adding to the same listing instead of bogging down with listings. On top of that, we are going to have the Cricut variety, which will be one of each color. So I'm going to go through the colors right now. Don't mind that. That's just uh, tape was on it. So it's like a clean spot, for lack of a better term. Don't worry. I'm going to rub some rubbing alcohol, and we'll get it all clean and fixed. So you will have one black, one white, one beautiful aquamarine it's almost turquoise i would say a beautiful pink right behind it if it's going to show there you go 
one brown, one maroon, one yellow. I'm having to say yellow, because usually I call it yellow. A beautiful cream color. Oh, come on, focus. Purple. Blue. Oh, we're gonna stack these right. There should be two more colors. Red. And lastly, green. So that is 12 colors. Because there's a 12 pack variety pack I bought. So you will have one of each color in your 12 pack. And this will be available in the window pane style. Because, yeah. So that's what we're going to have here. Because when I do a sheet, I do the whole sheet. And I cut it up that way. One second. My daughter walked in. This is why I can't film in the afternoons. <laughs> Without warning everybody, but she just got home from school, so, yeah. So those are our new colors, those three new colors coming out. This one will be window pane floating label. This will be all four styles, and that will be window pane. Now let's talk about the colors that came out last week. Let me move these out of the way. Actually, they need to go back in here, so. The easiest way to do that is I'm going to show you. I flatten my vinyl in a scrapbook album, for lack of a better term. No, that's what it is. It is a scrapbook album. I flattened my vinyl in it, and this one's torn for me trying to shove this in the last time. I should have never pulled it out, but I wanted to show y'all. So I have gotten fed up with the way vinyl has been coming out. I will show you here shortly. First, I'm going to... Close that up, and I will show you the colors y'all did not see in action just last week. But these are the two new colors that I added last minute, and that is a sparkle hollow rainbow, a rainbow hollow sparkle, and PPB sparkle, which is pink, purple, blue sparkle, or blue, purple, pink sparkle. No, pink, purple, blue, or pink, or purple, pink, blue. P, P, and B, you know, the letters. Anyway, and that's that window pane style I was talking about. So, but you see how these curve like this? All of them do that because they come like this. So I'm in the process of flattening vinyl, and I will not release it, or I will not cut it until it's flat. So last weekend, I went and I bought a, whatchamacallit, a scrapbooking booking album with sleeves. So we're going to talk about the colors that came out because I have them flattening now for the newer cuts. And this is, we'll start with, this is Opal Iridescent Scales. This is an Opal Iridescent that's really, really bright, so it's making me look dark. Yeah, it's darkened everything around me. This is um, a Opal Iridescent with Scales. It's transparent. This will never come out in a mystery pack color. It will, but... Right now, it's available in window pane, and I believe I'll be releasing it in floating label. This right here is that pink, purple, green color known as Princess Pink. It's a matte. Beautiful. This is your Blue Mermaid, which goes from blue to green. Right now, the light is just showing you the green on it. So much. Beautiful. Let's see if we can turn this light off and help a little bit. There we go. That helps. Okay. Then we have the seaside green, which goes green to blue. It's real. It doesn't really show well on camera, but trust me, this is a gorgeous color. It's kind of like a sea green to to a aqua blue color, and it's just not. The lighting is not doing it justice. The camera is not doing it justice. This is. It looks like spark rainbow hollow sparkle, but it is. Rainbow Leopard. Look at that. See the leopard print on it? Here's our Rainbow Sparkle. This is just Rainbow Sparkle. It's a textured vinyl. So this will not be a mystery pack ever, by the way. This one is semi-transparent. 
so it's translucent. This, however, is solid, so this could be in a mystery. Now we have the rainbow bundle colors. So I think I know what's going on. It's all that white. So I think I have to turn my light back on. Okay. So this is the rainbow bundle colors. You have your red, your orange, your yellow, your green, your blue. And I don't have indigo. Instead, I have violet. And I just picked those up. And purple. And then this is that PPB sparkle. Yeah, it's a pink, purple, blue. And this is that rainbow hollow sparkle. I'm flattening them right now. So, you see the colors that came out last week? Or not last week, Monday. Monday. In fact, I got some here that... These are for pending orders right here. I have a lot pre-packaged and ready to go. This one is not sold yet. It's one of that matte princess pink. And I want to show you that here in a second. The matte princess pink in action is right here. See that purple? When I, down here, it's the purple. How it's kind of purplish. It goes through and it goes pink and green. That's the matte. And there's the blue mermaid, both in action. Which I made these as a tester. These are corner label ones. But this is our window pane style, and see how you, I use a Sharpie to label them. You take some rubbing alcohol, wipe it off, you can reuse it real easily. Which I have shown multiple times on these guys over here. Okay, put that over there. That's my magic potion. It's huge! What else came out last week? The frogs. And when I mean the frogs, I mean the frogs! Here, we're gonna zoom. In a little bit. Look at that. This little guy came out Monday. It is a frog wax minder. You will use his eyes. Look at me getting all cutesy. You will use his eyes to clean off your wax. What you will do is you will refill your pen. And he's a cover minder, so he'll sit like this. And you just wipe your pen on his eyes. And then wipe off the, any excess coming off the side. Or you can do it this way. I have some putty in here, so. And see that? Now he's got putty on his head, but you know what? You don't have all that excess. And you want to clean him? You just wipe him off. Look at that. So there's our little froggy. Oh, good, oh, this is so cute. And he has a, they have nice size magnets. So the frogs have bigger magnets than the teddy bears because they could fit. So they have a nice 12 in, or 12 millimeter magnet instead of the 10. So it's like they're sitting on a lily pad. And to really bring up that sitting on a lily pad, we're going to show you our rainbow one sitting on his little lily pad. He's been sold. But don't worry, there's more of them. I got to make them. But look at that. He is rainbow. He goes from purple in the head to blue to green to yellow, orange, and red. The lighting is not doing him justice. Let's see if I can get up close. There you go. You see that? Beautiful. While we're at it, a reminder of what else came out. It was our rainbow fried gummy bear wax minder. Look at her. Same thing. Purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. But... This one I messed up. I had to redo the purple. I have to redo the purple. So this one will always be mine. Plus it has a nice air bubble in the back. You see that little air bubble that Polish got into? Because I polished the minders. Yes. And see how I was saying 10 inch magnet. Or 10 millimeter magnet. 12 millimeter magnet. Right? And there you see the size difference. But it's pretty much the size I have to work with. So these guys are. The frogs are a little bit of a stronger magnet. Here let me put Go back on your lily pad, which yes, I am working on. We talked about it. I talked about it with a few friends and in a few groups I'm in, stuff like that about how um, I can't afford to go out and get a bunch of packaging made and all that. Because last night I got the order for the the little froggy here, and I go, oh man, I should have ordered some product cards that were that had lily pads on them. And without missing a beat, 
came up with a better idea. Look at all the lily pad stickers. So the frogs can still sit on their lily pad. I know I should have left that surprise. I should have, but I was so proud and excited about it. However, if you have ordered before and you are looking to order now, no matter what, every order comes with a shop sticker. The shop stickers have been updated. New printer, new update. So they have a 0.5 edge cut down on the side to make them easy peel. If you can see that. Oh, there we go. See that? So that makes them easy peel. They're also a little bit bigger than the second version, smaller than the first version. Look at that. So we have new shop stickers. Those are free in every order. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Either way, um, also my packaging explaining the card. I want to explain the whole. It looks like a card. That's because it is. So the section frames, when I make them, I package them in these cards like this. And then I go ahead, and that's one way you can store them. If you don't want to save the envelope, fine. You'll just store them in their cards. They have a place to go. You can put them this way. You can put them that way. You know, honestly, this way is better if it's like in a filing system, right? But in case you're like me, and that's going to cause a problem, you have a little envelope. And I never seal these. I use a little sticker so it'll, you know, you peel that sticker off if you don't like it. I put the instruction cards in there, which explain, um, here, let me show you. So this is my section frame information card. It says, use, peel in place on the clear plastic that covers the products on the top, covers and protects, wow. Let's try this again. Use, peel and place on the clear plastic that covers and protects the top of your diamond painting. Do not place on the sticky part of your diamond painting. Note for labeling. Sharpies have been tested to work on section frames. Use a silver metallic sharper for, sharpie for darker colors. If black is too dark to see. And reuse. Even though every single one of these section frames have a label on the back of them, I have a reuse saying, remove from the clear plastic cover of your diamond painting and return to the section frame, return the section frame to the release paper. So, I try to give as much information. Chalkboard, when people order chalkboard vinyl, I will write on the back saying that you can use a chalkboard mar marker with them. Um, I do have the problem that we do have textured ones, and so markers are kind of used on them. But I'm thinking coming out with a label specifically for them, for cheap, like, you know, a 12-pack of labels for a dollar or something like that. You know, it's nothing, right? I don't want to sit there and nickel and dime y'all. You know what I mean? So on top of that, what else do we have? I think that's all we have coming this week. You've seen the upcoming colors for the wax minders, which honestly, since I'm coming up with the strawberries and cream for the frog, I, I'm going to have to do, or for the bear, I might have to do one for the frog. Ooh, I got to make new information cards for the frogs because all I have is for the the bears. Unless I put it right on the back. I might do that. I might write it on the back of the information because I don't have it right now, all written out. Either way, I have given you enough of, I've taken enough of your time. If you like what you saw today, don't forget to leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you would like to see me supply in my shop. Which section frame style you like the most. That's the most important. Do you like the window pane or the floating label to where you can have it clear if you don't want to use the label at all? or the mystery pack version where it covers everything or even the corner label just off to the side just off to the side reminder corner label da, da, da. <laughs> let me know in the comments down below what you prefer and remember spring 15 use that till may 8th to get 15 percent off your total order i'm getting out of here y'all have a wonderful wonderful week and i'll see you in the next video which is friday like, comment, subscribe right there, and y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.